time to choose T. It's either me or it's Meech, but you can't do both. Didn't help. I can't do that. It's a crime to lie to a police officer. You do understand that, Nicole? We in too deep. Talk! I'm not giving you an extension. Detective Lopez told me you were hiding something. If you're dirty, I'm gonna wash you out to dry. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love BOMF, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, tonight, we're going to be talking about BOMF Season 1, Episode 7. This is my quick thought, early impressions, and yes, they dropped Episode 7 on the Stars app. I know I made the video early on in the week for you guys telling you that Episode 7 was not supposed to be airing, and I was not lying. So, this is your boy, 50 Cent's um, post on Instagram. He even said it. He says that, look, I'm going to be out um, until next Saturday because he knows people are going to ask him, um, you know, why didn't episode seven air or whatever. But this is his actual Instagram post um, telling the people that they're going to be out until next week. And of course, Stars app, they decided to drop the episode anyway. So it is what it is. Now, the only reason I didn't get this video out earlier it's because I was watching the Canelo fight. So that's the only reason I did not get it out. Of course, once the episode had aired on the Stars app, a lot of people started hitting me up, but I was watching the fight. But just finished the episode. Now it is time to talk about this episode. And I will be dropping the full recap for you guys later on in the day. Um, it is what it is. They dropped the uh, content on accident. Well, I guess I'm going to take advantage of it. But Let's talk about it, man. Quick thoughts, early impressions for episode seven, titled All in the Family. And man, your boy Lamar, <laughs> once again, not only was he shot in the episode, he was able to survive and he decided to put his hands on Monique. <sighs> this dude is straight up insane. He just keeps, I guess he keeps raising the bar each and every episode now we only saw a little bit of eminem's character white boy rick um maybe we'll see more of his character in the next episode but it was just like a small brief moment at the very beginning of the episode that we saw of him um overall though this episode was very good um let's talk about some of those theories detective lopez man it's a damn shame to what happened to him but hey it is what it is. And just like how it always is, when you get too close to the truth, bad things happen. And that's the same thing that happened to Detective Lopez. See, Detective Lopez was very eager to try to catch um, the 50 boys. Meech, Terry, he wanted to catch them at all costs at the same time. He wanted to find out who killed Darius. So he was very eager in this episode. And of course, your girl, Kato, she caught a body. So, you know, she lays your boy Detective Lopez out. And I told you guys in the video that I made about Meech and Detective Bryant that Detective Lopez, anything happening to him in this episode, that's going to put a whole lot of pressure on Detective Bryant because now they're going to be watching even more. Um, we know that Detective Lopez told Commander Mars about what happened with Detective Bryant and Meech. So she told him. And this was after that, you know, they found out that Detective Lopez was, you know, he was gone. She told him she's going to be watching him. And if he is dirty, she's going to watch him dry out or whatever. So he has a lot of pressure at his job. At the same time, he was still trying to work with Meech. Meech is telling him he can't help him with this whole Detective Lopez stuff. Because now, you know, he is, you know, receiving a whole lot of pressure at work. So he needs Meech's help. But Meech is like, nah, I'm good. So now it's going to cause a lot of friction between Detective Bryant and Meech. And that's a lot of friction that, you know, Meech cannot really afford right now. It's about, it's about to turn up in this next episode. Now my quick thoughts, early impressions on Kato. Man, she finally got caught up, y'all. Your boy B. Mickey, he finally caught her. And he saw Lamar walking, you know, walking around his spot. He knew what was up. But this dude has a weak spot for Kato, y'all. You know what I'm saying? He really is in love with this girl. I guess those cheeks must be real good. They got to be good. They have to be good because, man, this dude 
he's willing to risk it all for her based off what we just saw in that episode. Now, I understand him clapping those cheeks one last time, but after he found out that she was working for Lamar and all that stuff that she's been through, I mean, he needed to go ahead and call Meech. I guess we're going to find out in the next episode what he's going to do. But based off how that ended, it definitely seemed like he was willing to help Kato, you know, prevent all of this, all of this drama from coming out and protecting her. So we're going to see how it's all going to play out, man. But phew, episode was straight up crazy. Um, Your boy, Terry, Big L, that did not go well. Now, Terry has made an agreement to always, you know, pay up, buy product. And, you know, they have a commitment, but it seems like they cannot re-up right now because of it's too hot on the streets. It's entirely too hot. We know that the boys are everywhere, especially after what happened to Darius. So it's no use for them trying to, of course, re-up. And Big L is not having that. She's like, look, we had a game plan. This is what we got to go by, plain and simple. So, of course, she was upset in this episode when she told Terry, look, we got to continue to do what we've been doing. Um... Terry did feel very bad in this episode because of what happened to Darius. We know that a lot of pressure was put on Nicole. She blamed Meech and Terry for what they do. And, you know, it was sad. You know, we you know we saw the funeral of Darius. Of course, her parents, they let them know, look, it should be y'all sons that's, you know, getting buried today, not my son. Um, the mom of Darius was very pissed off. Now, Lucille, she said, you know what? You know, she told LaWanda, look, you got to let Terry know. You got to you got to let him know. You gotta, he has to stop, stop all of this. She was pissed off that LaWanda lied to her. But at the end of the day, I understand LaWanda doing that. That's her dude. She's supposed to be his ride or die and protect him and do, you know, what a significant other is supposed to do for their partner. So I understand what she was doing at the same time. I do understand what Lucille was talking about. I mean, Darius said he has died. So this is very, very serious. And she wanted LaWanda to go ahead and let Terry know the truth. And we already know Terry's decision. We already know what he's going to do, right? Um, this is something that he's not going to let go. It's going to get deeper and deeper. So I guess his relationship with Wanda is at risk. Um, and he has a good little family that he started. But it's going to be a very, very challenging moment for him, in my opinion. But overall, man, the episode was straight up fire. The journey, the, the mission to get Lamar you know, did not necessarily play out the way Meech wanted it to. They wanted to take the dude out, but he was able to survive and last once again. The previews for episode eight, man, it's crazy, man. We were finally going to get to see your boy Meech talk about BMF. So I've been waiting for this moment. I told you guys this like a few, I think last episode, I told you guys this, that I was waiting for them to actually introduce the BMF name and in the next episode, Meech will definitely do that. But you guys let me know, man. What do you think about episode seven? I know a lot of you guys are happy that you was able to watch it. Like I told you guys, I try not to put out false information, which I didn't. They were not supposed to air this episode. 50 Cent even put it up. Um, and usually BOMF stars, they post the watch now, um, you know, story on their Instagram. They didn't even post that. So my question is, I wonder what they're going to do next week. Are they going to just replay this episode? I guess we got to wait and see, but no telling. With Stars, you may see the episode eight early. I mean, I guess we got to wait, but like I told you guys, I will be dropping the full recap. Um, I was going to wait, but it's no use to be waiting for it because they dropped the content is out. So I will talk about it. Hopefully you guys get to see the episode. That's if they do not take it down. It is what it is, man. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. And I'll catch you guys at the full recap. But let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dart. I'm out. Peace.